In today's episode, we explore two quintessential Vermont villages, Enosburg Falls and Richford, and we completed the Missisquoi Valley Rail Trail. As you'll see, we experienced several periods of rain, but we didn't let that stop us from enjoying the day. Looks like I have a slug on my bag. Mike is making oatmeal with real oats. Show us what you have. The carrot egg scramble. All right, nice. Well, it's day two. I uh, got down to about 50, let's say about 52 degrees last night. Pretty comfortable sleeping. Got a little bit of uh, rain around four o'clock, but it's dry right now, which we're pretty happy about. It's about quarter after eight. We're getting the bikes packed up. We're gonna head to Richford. Lake Carmi is the fourth largest lake entirely within the state of Vermont. It's 7.5 miles around with an average depth of 20 feet and is only 33 feet at its deepest point. The state park has 140 campsites, 35 lean-tos, and two cabins providing many options for bike packers. They're closed but the Wi-Fi is still up and running. Mike is doing an upload to his Strava. Me and I are just giving him a hard time. On this day, we were out to explore and enjoy the towns of Richford and Enosburg. We rode three and a half miles on paved roads from Lake Carmi State Park in Franklin to the Mississippi Valley Rail Trail. We followed the trail for about three miles to the village of Enosburg Falls, where we attempted to visit the museum in the old freight house. We continued east for another nine and a half miles to the end of the trail in Richford. We rode into and around town and even went to the Canadian border. The Mississippi Valley Rail Trail opened in 1996. Without carrying all our camping gear, we were light and fast. It felt like we were flying. Hit the town of Innisburg Falls. The building with the blue roof is the former Central Vermont Railway Depot. This orange caboose was built in 1972. The Innisburg Freight House was built circa 1871. We're in the town of Innisburg, and here. Uh, they have a little museum, a little railroad museum in the old depot here, and the caboose is open. We're going to try to check it out on the way back. The museum here is open 10 to 2 on Saturdays, but we were here too early on the way out and too late on the return. Following the Mississippi River here, and we're getting some terrific views of the river. So today was supposed to be the big rain day. That's one of the reasons why we chose to go to Richford today, is we figured we should get seek shelter in either Richford or Enosburg Falls. Is that your new friend, Mike? Yeah. of East Berkshire now, which is the last village before we hit Richford, 22 miles into the trail from St. Albans. Mm -hmm. 
really didn't think we were gonna see the sun today. The forecast was horrible. But here we are, pulling into Richford. The sun is out shining. We'll see what the rest of the day holds for us. us on the outskirts of the town center. According to the sign and Mike, we're at the end of the Mississippi Valley Rail Trail here. Um, we're going to go in and check out the town a little bit, see what we can find. The Central Vermont Railway cross Route 105 and continued one eighth of a mile to a rail yard in the depot. We've uh, been a little bit further than the rail trail here, but this is where they would have had the freight yards. And that building with the chimney back there is the old station. Canoe Trail is a 740 mile waterway route. Think of it as the Appalachian Trail for people with canoes. Looking at the weather, it looks like we're uh, going to get some thunder showers probably by 2 o'clock. It's what time is it now? 11. 11. Yeah, so uh, we're just taking a little break here. Nice little park. Ten thousand years, this region has been inhabited by the Wabanakiak people of the Dawnland. European colonists mispronounced their name as Abenaki. Likewise, the indigenous name for their home was mispronounced as Missisquoi. The native people named the river Wazawatigak, which meant the river that turns back or the crooked river. Here's our rain. We're under a tin roof, so we're lucky for now. <laughs> I'm hoping it's a short one. <laughs> I was figuring the whole day to be wet, so even if it's like wet yeah. all the way back, it'd be better than I thought it was gonna be. Doesn't need any stuff? The Missisquoi Valley Railroad and the Southeastern Railway both reached Richford in 1873. The Southeastern Railway began serving Richford in 1873. Ian wanted to see Canada. Yep. What do you think? It was worth it. It was worth it? Every That hill we got to go back over yep. just to see Canada. All right. Mike, get a good picture of Canada, please. We have a museum here, guys. Greenwood Bakery and Deli is located in downtown, across the street from the town hall. It gets 4.5 stars on Google, and we found it lived up to that high rating. It looks sunny out there now. We're hoping it isn't raining by the time we get out of here. Mike says it is. Mike says it's going to rain on us when we get out of here. Timing is perfect. Here comes the rain. Here it is. This would be the Y track. The two railroad depots in Richford were located on opposite sides of the town. The Y track provided a connection south of town where the two railroads exchanged freight cars. This was not part of the official trail and is not maintained, but we decided to check it out anyway. As we continued, the trail condition degraded and the oh, yeah. rain got heavier.
That's it. There's the other railroad track. There would have been a junction right here. We made it. Well, just stopped bringing it up for me to pull out the camera. The trail has been nothing but water. It's starting to dry out a little bit now. Check out the backs of these guys' rain jackets. Well, we're experiencing a bit of a sun shower, but more rain nonetheless. There's uh, really spotty clouds everywhere right now. Thankfully, by the time we reached Enosburg Falls, the rain had stopped. On our way back, we spent time in Enosburg Falls and explored the town. There are two online guidebooks that provide a list of services, things to see, and historical information. I'll put links in the description below. was probably our last stop maybe our last bit of sunshine for the day here in Enosburg Falls we're at the uh, Village Green pretty nice here this log cabin was affectionately named Abe's cabin Stop here. Mike has got the goods. And we're gonna head on back. What'd you get, Mike? chicken sandwich and a cup of noodles. He's got it all. Amazing, it's warm and dry. That? It is uh, Zero Gravity Brewing from uh, Burlington uh, Oktoberfest. I couldn't let Mike be the only one to have some adult beverage, so I grabbed a cider. This was Ian's last night with us, so we decided to build a fire and maybe dry our wet clothing. In the next episode, we'll tackle some back roads in the Lamoy Valley Rail Trail for 65 miles of riding. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss it. 